it's going to be the, the severe threat about 2 to 8 p.m. So once we get to 8 p.m., we should really start to see those storms clearing out. As a matter of fact, the Storm Prediction Center has issued a severe thunderstorm watch, meaning conditions favorable for severe weather for all of us here in Metro Detroit until 8 p.m. So there, following the timeline that, of course, these storms and this line is beginning to dive off to the south and east. So when we look at the threat today, it doesn't mean we're not going to see an outside chance for a storm either before or after that timeline, but the greatest threat lies between 2 and 8 p.m. And we're looking at the warm, of course, humid air that's around, just aiding to the instability that's building. The weekend forecast a little split, the rain chance on Sunday, but Saturday looks dry. 81 degrees right now in Detroit, our dew point in the mid-60s. You're feeling at southwest wind at 14 and more importantly there's that watch and it kind of outlined roughly that watch across metro detroit right now not including south of i-94 through uh, monroe and lenaway county but everyone else and look at this line that's quickly developing too this is passing off to the south and east the warnings already for areas on the other side of the state a sliver of nuego county montcalm county into macasta and osceola so north and west of us but these storms will continue to move off to the south and east and that line driving southward at about 35 miles per hour. So the timeline early afternoon, but we're going to continue that threat through the evening too. The warm front is situated over lower Michigan, prompting the warm air and humidity. The cold front will slide in, enhancing that threat as we go through the second half of the day. It is 81 degrees right now in Detroit, 80 in Ann Arbor, 83 in Howell, and 82 degrees Lapeer. While it's nice to see that sun shining, I mentioned earlier, that just continues to destabilize the atmosphere, brings in more instability to fuel these storms and the timing too. When we get these storms that come through during the middle of the afternoon, that's peak heating. That's prime time for these storms again to be fueled and move through. So four to six o'clock, eight o'clock, we're still dealing with some of these storms with temperatures near 80 degrees. Humidity driving high near 70 in some cases, so mid to upper 60s. And then once the cold front cuts through, it'll really start to push aside that humidity and the air will start to dry out. Here's our hour by hour forecast just to get, of course, kind of an idea of the enhanced risk for us, slight risk in yellow, green where it's moving through right now, marginal risk. It has more time too to be fueled too once it moves through. Once we get to about seven, eight o'clock, we'll see the tail end of it. All is pretty quiet overnight. The spin in the atmosphere tomorrow, limited chance we could catch an isolated shower tomorrow. It certainly doesn't look like uh, much, but today it definitely spikes after two o'clock increases through the evening hours, and that's what we're going to have to watch. Just make sure you have one of our free apps to look at the radar. We will be here throughout the day giving you warnings as, ne as necessary, but once again, we're under that severe thunderstorm watch, and that is until 8 p.m.